my previous audio file was to sort of direct you to contextual situation where the opportunity of listening to God could be beneficial to all parties involved. When people spout off their mouth because they feel some sort of insult, they've automatically failed to turn the other cheek. What I was impressed about the manager yesterday is that she really established that she was going to hold her tongue despite the abuse from the customer and the consumer. What I also valued was that one of the more mature black women as a part of that family knew what to do because she was understanding the manager and also observing what was going on with her child or her daughter or her friend or relative or whoever that was to her and she decided to reestablish herself as someone mature and move herself back into the line. And that takes a little bit of time but she did it anyway despite my graciousness of trying to say it's okay you can go ahead of me. Now I'm not complimenting myself in any way in any form in any part of this. What I'm saying is when my guess was that she was realizing that some things need to be handled outside the store with her family, and that was correct. And de-escalating a situation is absolutely correct, no matter who's involved, just like I tried to say things that would allow everybody a little bit of release of tension, and that's important to me. At the same time, the family friend in front of me, who was not the one spouting off completely, was trying to pay for my food, and I didn't mind that generous heart or soul, but the Lord said to me very emphatically, the answer is no. And literally, I heard that three times. You see, the value of channeling God and being in God's house all the time in which you praise God, you honor God most of the time, and I'm a bastard of both Satan sometimes because I literally curse in Japanese at God because I'm frustrated, I'm impatient, and I'm really upset about what's happened to me with the police. But the reality is I didn't ask for any of that. And that was immoral what people did to me. But the truth is that at any moment of time, you can be given the context and situation that's going on elsewhere that you don't have any part of in your natural mind. You can be given the vocabulary that you need to say the right thing so that you can get out of difficult situations and go on with the living and not end up as the dead. Now we have people that spout off all the time. We have violent young men being raised out of impoverished communities and thinking that it's okay, and it's not. We have failed many, many of our generation of these 20-somethings coming out because their violence can take technological forms. Their violence can take forms at night. And their violence says, I have the right to spout out, spout out to anyone, even if they're white. And I don't mean to be a white supremacist, but I know that I'm feeling like that if you don't want me to be like that, then do not behave like that in front of me. I am old school, coming from a Republican family, despite that I am not Republican. I wouldn't do that. It doesn't mean that the principles that they hold are not valuable to me. It just means that I've made a choice in my life of what I'm going to be, and at one time was an independent. I think that's when Ross Perot first put his hat in the ring. He said, we need a businessman to run, run America, Inc. But the reality is the value of channeling and really listening to your godly given guides, your angel assigned uh, assistants, if you will, that can only come from God, is the total de-escalation of difficult situations that can pop up across any time in the nation.